Hey, what's happening? Jim Noonan, Marketing Manager for Fox Racing Shocks. We're here at uh, Press Camp in uh, Park City, Utah, and taking a look at the 2012 uh, 34 from Fox Racing Shocks. What we have is a brand new 34mm uh, outside diameter tube. It's new for this year. It's 29er only, and it's available in two different models. The floats, that's what we're looking at here. So it's a 140 millimeter travel float, uh, RLC, and you can also get it in a talus. The talus will be travel adjust, obviously, 140, 110. It does come with the uh, 15 QR skewer, so that's standard, and there's uh, no other axle options on that. And just a, a more robust with the longer crowned axle with these 29er forks, just a more stout, robust platform, and uh, it's been really well received. Should be available in shops around August 1st. And that's new for 2012. Thanks. Okay, next up we've got the float tie. This is new for 2012. What we have here is an investment cast titanium uh, crown steer. This is a 6.4 titanium. It's uh, investment cast, as I said, right here in the USA. We've got different travel options. So you've got 80, 100, 120. Uh, you do have the available 15 QR axle. Target weight on this is uh, 2.9 pounds and running up to 3.25. So. We've tested uh, carbon fiber versus titanium. What we found on the crowns that we've tested, the carbon fiber uh, can be stiffer, but you can actually achieve a, lot, a lighter steer uh, crown assembly using the titanium. So brand new for 2012. Look for these in the shop starting September 1st. Thanks. What we have here is our Adaptive Logic, brand new RP23 for 2012. What we've changed up for this year is we took the feedback from our racing application development team what the racers wanted was always a dedicated firm uh, pedaling platform. So the side near the air valve is always going to be the most firm. That's never going to change. And then in the descend mode, you can actually pull this knob out and vary the amount of low speed compression damping. So zero is going to be a little, basically a free bleed position, no low speed compression dampening. You pull the knob out and turn it. And two would be the most. So that's going to be a fair amount of low speed compression damping for like fire roads or something like that. And one is going to be a happy medium. You're going to have a, a good, fair amount, a little bit of a low speed compression damping, less wallow. And that's our Adaptive Logic, uh, brand new from 2012. We do have the new uh, darker Kashima, the pad print. You can quickly identify it that way. Uh, Adaptive Logic 2012 Fox Racing Shops.